Okay, so I may technically be filming another video, but I kind of don't want to read the books at this point. I kind of want to go rogue and read the Folk of the Air trilogy. I mean, future me is not going to be impressed, but I want to read something light, and I think a thousand pages of this will be good. Okay, so this entire series sums to 997 pages, if my maths is correct, and I'm just gonna see how fast I can read it. I'm not gonna put pressure on myself to just read it in a day or anything like that, because I've got other things I need to do, but I'm gonna try and read this in a few days, at most. There's something I really like about starting books, about just turning open the first page and immediately being introduced to a new world. So my favourite cafe is closing, and today is their last day of serving food as cafes do, so I'm gonna go out and get some lunch. But it's really sad, because I really like that place, it doesn't charge £10 for a sandwich, all in all it's just nice, and of course they're closing because we can't have nice things. I honestly just think this reflects the current state of everything, with soaring inflation, smaller, independent cafes that benefit the community in so many different ways are having to close. You can even just see it on any British high street, there are loads of shops that are boarded up, that are closing down. It's just really sad to see them all being wiped out. I have technically been reading this book for over a week now, and that doesn't mean I'm not enjoying it. I've just been doing other things in the slot I would normally find myself reading. you what, it looks fantastic out here, but it is still really cold. You still need a coat to cope. Don't know why I'm rambling about the weather. <laughs> I'm British, that's why. I need to be fast because it is getting dark very quickly, but I'm here to talk to you about The Cruel Prince, and I'm actually really liking it, because I think Jude is a very refreshing young adult main character, because she is definitely not good all the time. In fact, she is veering towards being kind of bad even, but she's kind of in the middle. She's more, she's very morally grey. And I tell you what, if I had to sit through another so morally good, never makes a mistake, never does anything bad, is never selfish, anything like that, I would have been really annoyed. Because, like, I mean, I think she's a heightened version of realism, but I think at 17, or just like, at, as a teenager anyway, like, you are selfish. You are going to do things that aren't great. And I think she is more realistic, even though she's kind of lost her, her human attributes because she's been in the Fey world for so long. Let's mention the issues I am having with this book. There's only kind of two. The first one is that there are so many characters, and I don't really know who all these people in the Fairy Court are and how they relate to Jude and her siblings. Number two, I don't think the plot is brilliant because we were kind of leading somewhere, but then all of that tension just fell. And I feel like it happened a little bit too early, even though the ramifications of that is quite interesting. But I kind of feel like it could have been stretched out a little bit longer because I think I would have liked to have seen this plot play out for a bit longer. Maybe the big event could have happened at the end and we would have been left off on a cliffhanger. I know why he likes to do that. Otherwise, I think this book is going to end up being like between a 3.5 and a 4, which I think is really solid.
nostalgia. Why is there always a plant trying to get in the shot? Anyway, I may or may not have stayed up until like 2am last night reading The Wicked King. So I have almost finished it and I think you can tell by that that I am actually really enjoying it. It's very, very interesting. I, I really like seeing all these politics be played out. They're having to scheme, they're having to make decisions in order to prevent and try and deflect war whilst also not making themselves look weak. It's all, it's all very, very, very interesting. I was gonna go out, but that was before I realised that I'm still basically half asleep, so I'm probably just gonna sit and read for a bit, but even though I've got other things I need to do, like some French, but I just know I won't absorb any of the things I'm doing in this kind of state, so this is very fun. Do you want my final opinions on this series? Well, you're gonna get them. But let me first tell you what I would compare it to. Because it was kind of reminding me of something. And then I realized this is the fantasy version of The Great, starring Elle Fanning and Nicholas Holt. Because she's a German going into a Russian court, and she is a human going into the fairy court and she is having to make all these political decisions, there's lots of political intrigue. That is the series, with a little bit of enemies to lovers, but it is actually enemies. It does the perfect arc, because they start off absolutely hating each other, and we're given a reason for it. Then they have to start working together, and their dislike for each other kind of softens, but they still definitely hate each other, until eventually they push past that boundary and realise that they're actually quite compatible. I'm sure this series is definitely YA, but the political intrigue is very reminiscent of adult fantasies, which is probably why I liked it so much, because normally I find that young adult fantasy isn't very complex. Now one thing I do have to say is the world building isn't that strong, I just for some reason could picture it, but I think if you have trouble picturing books, because some people can't picture things at all, I think you would probably struggle to kind of imagine or at least get yourself around this world. But I do think for a book talk darling, I think this is one I would actually recommend. There are some great themes in this, great discussions, and I think that would be good for the teenagers among us. I think they would enjoy this. Haha, <laughs> sus. For all you folk of the air stands out there, you luckily have no right to send me hate about the fact that I did not like the series because I did like this series. I think it's actually good. YA fantasy is just really not my thing. I mean, I've made rant reviews about why I fancy books I've hated in the past. I've just moved on to adult now. I can't go back really, but I guess I can because this was actually really great. Though at the same time, I don't love it as much as loads of other people have. I just think it's really, really good, but I'm not absolutely in love with it. I still do really want more from this world, but I think I will space it out a little bit because I have pretty much devoured a whole trilogy in one go. I believe that is all. I will save you from a really long outro and I will just say that I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video, which will be a vlog. I'm not gonna spoil what it is, but it will be a vlog and um, you'll have to see what I'm reading then. Until the next time, let me know some other popular series you want me to read or popular books because I can make another reading vlog. <laughs>